Hello and welcome to the T Gray Pup channel. In this video, I'll be doing a review and demo of Hair Arts Bianca 17 inch platinum blonde haired mannequin. If this topic interests you, then please keep watching. Okay, so right here I'm just giving you um, the website depiction of the actual mannequin. Her name is Bianca. Uh, her hair length is, is supposed to be 17 inches and her hair is platinum blonde, which differentiates from the other mannequin because her hair wasn't blonde. It was like a natural lightened hair color to uh, a pale yellow blonde. Okay, so right here I included the website de description and... The hair care instructions um, for you so you can pause to read if you so choose. Okay, so up next I'm going to go through the reviews like I normally do. I go with the lowest so we can see what's going on. Uh, but on the website it says 4.8 um, 5 stars or whatever basically. Okay, so this person Brock in the United States says uh, not good. I ordered the 17 inch and I received the 12 inch instead. I'm currently waiting on the exchange and now it's on sale for $40 left less. I was told that I may or may not be able to get the sale price. We'd have to wait and see ridiculous. They just won't give me the sale price for the inconvenience. Okay, so David D from uh, the United States says, okay, it's okay hair quality is fine soft really nice color the density of the mannequin however is awful there are areas of the mannequin head that are patchy it looks like it's bald it's sad since this mannequin is expensive okay so those were two of the lowest reviews that i found on the website uh, there's nothing i can do about the first one um the second one however i can address whether or not the hair density is um low or anything uh, later on in the video okay so up next we're going to take a look at the actual website and what inspired me to purchase another mannequin so and my shipping so let's begin okay so here's a, a quick look at the actual website itself um just wanted to toss that in there i'm going to try to leave a link in the description section down below so keep an eye out for that and as for my inspiration, I know I recently purchased a mannequin head before, uh, although it's not the same mannequin. Uh, it was to show the contrast and I have some tasks I want to do. Also, they had a 30% off sale, so um, I decided to take advantage of that because these mannequins, yes, they are quite expensive. So uh, as you can see here, this is my confirmation that I actually uh, made my order. Here is to tell me that my order is on its way, that has actually been shipped. And here is when my I actually received my shipment uh, is delivery date. It took about a week, almost two weeks, as you can see here. And here is the price I paid once I had got my 30% off. Okay, so I didn't do the actual unboxing because I want to make sure that my order was correct. But anyway, this is what actually came in the mannequin. It's actually a plastic bag and a, a little thing that says don't over process the hair because it's already processed. Here's a 360 of the mannequin head and we're going to move on to the next step. Okay, so in this video, I've included the measurement procedure. Um, before they ship me these mannequins. I don't understand why she's doing it um, horizontally because literally they only use the length from the top of the head to the bottom where the hair ends. Um, I think that's crazy. But moving on, um, here is the mannequin uh, itself and a ruler. And each section is less than 12 inches, okay? Um, I don't understand how could they make a measurement going from the the top of the head, not even the front hairline. I was mistaken in the other video. It's not from the front hairline to the back. It's from the top of the head. I don't know. Wherever you feel like it, just to make it appear longer than, you know, than it actually is. Um, are you kidding me? That's 17 inches? No, you're getting short changed here. Just my opinion. And they do this with a lot of mannequins. So, um, yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, so right here I'm just showing you what the hair is looking like uh, straight out of the box. Um, as you can see, the hair is shedding, which is to be expected from most mannequins, but probably more so from a mannequin's hair that has been bleached like this. But um, continuing on, okay, so um, normally uh, this is where I show you what the hair texture looks like while it's wet. Um, in this case, I did use a little bit of conditioner, uh, you know, with keeping in mind that the hair's condition is pretty bad and I didn't want it to break off any more than what it probably would have broken off had I just did like I normally do which is just shampoo the hair and you and not use any product but I'm going to be honest here I use a little bit of conditioner just to make sure everything went along pretty good so this is what the hair is looking like how much um, breakage I'm getting from combing through it um yeah so that's what you see me doing here as you can see, she has like a wavy, more like a straight, loose wave texture. And um, it's a really nice hair color. I really like it. Um, and yeah, so this is how much hair is coming out just from shampooing it and using a little bit of conditioner, like a detangling light conditioner, nothing really heavy or deep conditioner. It's all in my, uh, as you can see, it's going to be all in my towel. Just squeezing out that extra moisture so we can get on to the next step. Just a reminder, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks. Also, if you were interested in don making a donation to this channel, please uh, check out my description section down below. It has a link for my cash app. If you would like to make a donation, it would be greatly appreciated. It helps me purchase uh, these items so that I can review and show them uh, uh, to you. Thank you. Okay, so right here, I'm going to give her um, a trim. Uh, just take a little bit off her ends to kind of get rid of those straggly ends that we saw at the beginning of the video. And, you know, make it a little bit more nicer because we're going to have to do some, um, some video after. So you can see it in the sunlight and see what you're actually getting when you make a purchase of this particular mannequin with the platinum blonde hair. Um, I'm not going to do a real haircut just yet. I'm going to wait, but... Um, just for the purposes of this video, we're going to do it like this, okay? Okay, so going on to the next step, doing a round brush, as you can see here, um, I'm using medium heat. Um, like I said, this hair is pretty uh, fragile, being that it's been bleached. Um, a little bit different that I'm a little bit different. I'm doing something different this time where I'm trying to round brush it away from the face because I don't know if you saw the other video, the hair would just kind of like fall on the face and it was kind of annoying. So, um, that's what you see me doing there right here. I'm just showing you how much hair was lost in the process of blow drying the hair is quite a lot. And, uh, up next, I'm going to show you a 360 of what the hair looks like after it's been blown dry round brushed. Okay, up next, I'm going to flat iron the hair. Um, you can't go any further than 300 degrees, which honestly, when I did it with this uh, mannequin hair, uh, it didn't seem to do very much straightening in my opinion. It was very light. Um, as you can see here, I did not use any heat protectant to keep up with the same um, same stuff that I do in my all, all my videos when I do... Um, these type of videos on mannequin reviews. Okay, so this is what the hair looked like blown dried. And this is what the hair looks like uh, when it's been, once it's been flat ironed. Yes, it does look a little bit smoother, but in my opinion, um, that 300 wasn't hot enough. Okay, so right here I'm giving you a 360 in sunlight, which you can, so you can see that the, the natural hair color that's coming with this mannequin is a platinum blonde and it looks pretty good honestly uh, i love the color nice and uh, platinum 
uh, almost looks like gray hair, honestly. Um, so if you were looking for uh, a platinum blonde mannequin to do practice on or things like that, this would be the one. Okay, so um, just doing a comparison of the previous mannequin that I did, here's the video. I'll try to leave a link in the description section down below. She's about 15 inches, not the 17 that I have with this mannequin. And um, her hair is uh, just a natural bleach blonde, I guess, compared to the platinum. This is more of a warmer yellowish chickadee color. Um, moving quite uh, moving along just want to know to show you the difference this is the um, the previous mannequin her name is olivia okay uh check out the video and this one here is the current one her name is bianca with the platinum blonde hair so if you're making a purchase off of hair art you at least know the difference between the two mannequins okay okay so i decided to do a side-by-side -side comparison okay um I'm pretty sure you can see which one is the platinum and which one is just the regular bleach blonde and um, had a bit of a mishap honestly I don't know what happened with this mannequin uh, as you can see her face has been deformed and I don't know I woke up this this morning and I did my video and I noticed this once I can do the comparison so I'm a little bit depressed about that not depressed but just kind of like not happy about it but moving on okay Okay, so we are moving on to my final thoughts. Um, honestly, I think this mannequin is a great investment. I believe she has, she's much better than the Olivia mannequin, uh, which is not the Platinum Blonde. This is the Bianca, okay? I feel like they give her more attention. Uh, if you ever looked on the website, she actually has care instructions and the other one does not. And did you see her eyelashes on the... The Olivia one, they were like freakishly long. And these on the Bianca look a lot more natural. Also, I didn't like how it only covered like three-fourths of the eye. The eyelashes is what I'm talking about. And um, other than that, uh, I really like the hair colors. Um, they were really nice to get exactly what you're paying for. Um, as far as the length, um, that's incorrect in my opinion you know I have my own opinion you can decide for yourself as for the density this particular mannequin in my opinion looks a lot more has a lot a higher density than uh, the Olivia which is um, which is the mannequin that um, I did in the previous video not in this video okay um, also uh, yeah it was kind of like a sad that her, her face, Olivia's face was deformed. Uh, I don't know what's going on. I feel like it's air in there or something. Because I know, I don't know if you noticed, like when I press it, like the other side popped out even more. So I'm going to take a pin to it. Honestly, I don't know what to do. Uh, that's crazy. She looks really bad. Okay. But anyway, um, like I said in this video. I think this is a good investment and if you were looking for uh, my light color mannequin to do practice on or demonstrations or whatnot I would definitely give these a try honestly I'm very happy with my purchase uh, like I said uh, the only thing that really like got me down was uh, Olivia's face is like messed up real bad okay um, I'm gonna see what I can do about that and other than that thanks for watching don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.